In this video, I'll show you how I set up my workspaces in OneNote to make it easy to access files and folders for my tasks and projects without friction. File organization can be tricky, especially when you have multiple files scattered across different folders and cloud platforms. Because many files these days are shared across teams for collaboration, you don't always have control over how the files are named and where they're saved. This makes it really difficult to find files when you need them. I use OneNote to organize my frequently used files grouped by work activities so that I can quickly and easily access the files that I need without losing time as I switch between tasks. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I'm working on a project. Most of the project files are saved in Microsoft Teams in the appropriate project folder. But some files are sitting in my OneDrive since this is my working files and I don't want to share them with my team yet. And I also have some files shared by vendors and outside consultants that are hosted on a different platform like Dropbox and Google Drive. In OneNote, under the appropriate project section, I'll create an overview page that provides a quick summary of the project and its status. I have a video on how you can set this up if you're interested. So on this page, I'll create a table for frequently accessed files. Resize the table to make it a little wider. Maybe add a little shading to make it stand out against the notes. And even make the text a little larger if you want. Now I can paste links to any files, whether they're on my personal computer or on a cloud server. Let's try adding a link to a file sitting in a local drive on my computer. I just hit Ctrl K to bring up the link dialog box, hit the folder icon to navigate to the file, and select hit OK. We can change the display name if we like, but I'm going to leave as is and hit OK. Now we have a link to that file, and let's click on it, and I get a little warning. I'm going to hit yes to continue, and there it is. For files in our OneDrive, there are several different ways to do this, but one way is to navigate to the file, share, and copy link. You can then paste it into the table. If you want to change the display name, you can right click and edit link, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl K as we did before and change it from there. We'll name it business requirement doc. For files and teams, it's very similar. Let's say this time we want to link to an entire folder since the project files are organized neatly there. Just select the folder and share, then copy link. And we can again paste it just like before. When you click on the link, it'll actually open the team SharePoint folder in your browser. For Google Drive, you can right click on the file, get link, then copy link. You get the idea. By having a consistent setup like this for all your projects and tasks, you can easily transition from one activity to the next by closing the files associated with the previous task to create a clean workspace, and then opening the files for the current task seamlessly. Well, I hope you found this short and simple tip helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to learn more about how I set up my OneNote notebook and create summary pages, check out these videos next.